What's up? What's up? What's up? Hopping on here. Just I want to answer a few questions and talk and just chat all things guitar real quickly. But um, why y'all are coming in? Uh, I'm just gonna be playing this vibe. Uh, I think the name of this song is called "Take Me Away" featuring Earth Gang. Um, so yeah, you know, every now and then what I'll do in the mornings is I'll just find different kind of playlists. And this one is called Alternative R&B. I found it on Spotify. So here we go. <laughs> to that one at a later date at a later time what's good what's good what's good yo i just wanted to hop in here answer some questions this is one of the things i was trying to tell y'all listen if you subscribe to this channel if you're not already subscribed to this channel you should definitely do so but also too um you should definitely like click the bell to be notified so wait i mean you know what i'm jumping on here from time to time i'm gonna answer some questions this morning because i feel like i want to answer some questions to talk about guitar you guys ready to talk about some guitar let's do it let's jump in Somebody said, good morning. Good morning, Devante. Um, what up, what up? Yeah, live on Monday. You know, like, we, we get it. We, we jump in. We do it. This is an early morning for the West Coasters. You know what I'm saying? Afternoon for the East Coasters. We just doing what we do. Um, where do you keep your, known, your tone knob? Like, on my guitar? Is that what you're asking, TJ? Good morning, good morning. Uh, top in the morning. What's up? When I grow up, for sure, for sure. Hey, Sensei. Um, is that the Kemper thing again? Yeah, it's Kemper. Kemper, like, for whenever I'm doing, like, home studio stuff, for the most part, it's going to be Kemper or it'll be the boss. But right now, we got Kemper plugged in. That's what we're focusing on right now. So, yeah. Yeah, 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 baby, yeah, yeah, yeah. So, what's good? What types of strings do you use? So, right now, I'm currently using uh, Diodarios. I'm not endorsed. But these are the strings because people ask these questions all the time. These are the ones that I'm using. Uh, the nickel wound, the EXL 110 to 112P. Or to 12P, I'm sorry. Those are the ones I'm currently using. Boston Me 80 all the way. Sweet, sweet. Good morning. I'm glad. Uh, sweet. 
how and where should I start as an R&B guitarist? So for his glory, uh, if you want to start as an R&B guitarist, you should definitely think about, you know, having somebody teach you or show you or a platform that can show you specifically R&B. And this is where Carrie's Camp comes in to benefit you because it's primarily focused in on R&B, neo, soul, and gospel. So you should check it out, carriescamp.com, K-E-R-R-Y-S-K-A-M-P.com. It'll definitely be a benefit for you. Uh, very special sound, uh, good tone, in your hands, sweet. Many thanks, I appreciate it, appreciate it. Good morning, what are some of your target notes to improvise? So, um, a lot of times when I'm focusing, I like I really teach uh, the minor pentatonic because there's a lot of gold in there that I think a lot of different guitarists um, sometimes overlook or they think it sounds like the scale too much. And There's a lot of gold in there, so a lot of my target notes are based upon that scale. What I will necessarily do is like when I'm listening to a track, I'm listening for the melodies. So if I want to hear the melodies, I want to make sure that I'm grabbing those melodies. Um, but I can find a lot of that stuff in the minor pentatonic. You have really come a very long way. Continue to be blessed. Sweet. Appreciate it. Hello from France. That's what's up. I've been playing for uh, eight months and I'm having a hard time following chord progressions. How should I start to break down each scale? So if you're having trouble, I'm telling you, this is where Carrie's Camp is a benefit for you because I go through and I show you how to start to hear things, especially when it comes to ear training and making sure that you can hear the stuff the way that you intend to hear it. So you should definitely check it out. Go to carriescamp.com. That is K-E-R-Y-S-K-A-M-P.com and let me take you through the steps. And there's no pressure because you learn at your own pace. It's not like, oh, if you ain't get it today, oh, well, you know what I mean? But you learn at your own pace. And so let me help you. Hey man, I've been playing through a 212 Fender Chorus. I'm thinking about buying one of those two amps, but it's a beast. Um, I mostly play blues. So then I would think about a DeVille, if I were you, David. That's my just honest opinion, you know what I mean? Uh, does replacing um, Broad Thorn, Lambertone, Hum, and a Gretsch make sense? I'm just a huge fan of Lambertone, so I just think, it, yeah, it definitely makes sense in my, in, my, in my mind. Shout out from Botswana, yo, what's up? Uh, do you use a major scale to solo at all? Some points that I do, but mainly I, because most melody is found in the minor pentatonic. Cool, that makes it makes understandable. Cool. Sorry, Carrie. Um, you use mods. Thank you so much. Okay. Carrie, thanks for your tips and you share uh, some time ago about following the bass line. So, yeah, definitely. It'll help you to decipher which chords that you're playing because you can hear that. You know, because sometimes people voice chords chords differently, but the bass notes usually kind of tell you like it's a good fail safe. Thank you for taking the time out of our day to teach us and talk to us about. It means a lot. I appreciate it, Lauren. Appreciate it. Uh, where do you usually have your tone knob tuned to? Usually, it just depends on the guitar, but most time my tone is all the way to ten, unless it's a super bright guitar. Then I roll it back a little bit. Can you recommend some R&B songs for practice pull offs? Uh, this has been my my weakness. So Music Studio Exchange, you could go literally go on, on you know, Spotify and just type in R&B stuff like R&B and they have different genres and you could just listen. You know what I mean? Hello from Sweden. What's up? What's up? You to go. I appreciate that. What humbuckers um, to get that? Um, so these in here are Lambertone Cremas. That's what I have in this um, PRS. And I'm saying if you put them in yours, you'll you'll be sweet. What's up from New Zealand? That's what's up, man. We got people in the house from all over the world. I love it. Uh, do you like brass or bone if you change the nut? Um, I have one guitar that has, I think it's a metal. I don't know what kind of metal it is, but it's on my, P, uh, not my Pierce, but my um, Les Paul. Sounds great. Everything else for me, I think it's, I, I don't know what kind of nuts they are, but they look plastic. Love from France. That's what's up. We got people from here from Haiti. That's what's up. From Wales. Oh, man. Appreciate it. Appreciate it. Have you tried uh, using the powered monitors with your Helix instead of the amp? Um, I've done it for studio sessions, not here in this particular setting, but usually when I go to different studio settings, um, I usually take that and that's my go-to. So, yeah, I've done it through those. It, it sounds great. Take me away. So just rock the lead. Let's see if we can. I 
I purchased a Boss Katana MK2 50 watt. Is it track? I don't know, man. I've never played it, so I can't really give you my honest opinion about something that I've never really played. So I don't like to use that term trash on something that I don't know what's up, you know, because it might be, it could be good. I don't know. Uh, love, uh, all the way from there. It's sweet, sweet, sweet. Um, do you think Bis Bigsby's are better vibrato than, it depends on the guitar. So like on a PRS, I would not put a Bigsby on a PRS um, on this particular model, but I have a Bigsby on my Les Paul and it sounds great. So it just depends, you know, to each his own, you know. Which tone pickup and pedal did you uh, use when vibing to James Bay? So I, I didn't use any kind of pedal. It was the the Kemper, and I had it on which one? The Silver Jubilee C1. That was the profile that I used. I just found your channel. Great stuff and very informative. Man, I appreciate that. That's That means a lot to me. So right now, I just changed the Kemper to just rock the lead. I want you all to see this. So, right? Right, I don't have it plugged into anything but my guitar. So, this is the cable. I'm going straight in. I, no pedals, no nothing. Straight guitar, straight pedals. You know what I mean? And so what I'm going to do now, I'm just going to play so you guys can hear the tone. That's one of the reasons why I like the Kemper so much because it just it has amazing tone, right? So let me turn this bad boy up. I had to turn this down. I mean, that's just, I mean, like, listen, I'm straight guitar going straight into, I'm going straight into the Kemper, like, you know? <laughs> sounds stupid crazy, right? Let's play along with this track. reasons why I fell in love with the Kemper because I'm just going straight in I'm talking about straight chord no pedals I'm not using anything else I'm going straight live and direct chord cable plug straight in and I'm getting that kind of tone right so I don't have to worry about like trying to find a pedal like nothing that's why I say like if you want to make the investment make the investment uh the quad cortex I've heard some people talk about that I've done a lot of um, videos where I watch that. Mind you, you just got to find what fits you. All of this stuff works. You just got to find what fits you, what fits in your budget. Like, and I was watching this one video, this guy was explaining, it's just like, essentially, we're all chasing tone. That's really what it is. Like, that's why we have the gear that we have. That's why we ask for the guitars that we ask for. That's why we buy the pedals that we have. Like, I, over in that box over there, I got like another small, like, pedal board setup that I'm working on. More pedals, more gear, because we're, we're all chasing tone. That's really what it is. And so 
at the end of the day, we just get excited about chasing tone. But a lot of this the tone is in your hand, but like the overdrives and the reverbs and all the other stuff like that, that it's the gear. So you got to have the gear. Uh, do you float the bridge? Yes, I float the bridge on all my guitars. You know what I mean? So let's go back. I know I missed a couple of different things because I was vibing out. I was melting some paint off the walls. Um, okay, cool. Let's go back and answer some questions. We got some some love from Kenya. That's what's up. Uh, your co-voices on Tori Kelly's Sunday was lit. Appreciate it. I, re I really mean that. Um, thank you for answering your questions. Blessings from North Carolina. That's what's up, David. Cool. Music is definitely about love. Sweet. Which tone pickup and pedal did you... Oh, we talked about that one already. Um, okay. My Bixby slows the recording down on my Gretsch like none other. Hey, Carrie, too smooth. I'm proud of you, um, bro, and playing. Help, your playing has helped me a lot and learned a lot from you. Sweet. Uh, do you think any guitars are must have for sessions? Um, it depends on what, what you're playing. Um, I think you need to have something that's versatile that you can use multiple stuff. So a lot of times, you know, before I started to get the guitars that I have now, I was a fan of strats, but I started listening to some of the recordings. Strats are a little thin, so I don't typically use strats. Now for recordings, now I'm usually using like a, a, either my PRS that's out, outfitted with Lambert tones, or I'm using uh, my Les Paul because it's got a thicker, beefier sound. But the way the creamers are, it's still kind of, it can feel like a single coil at the same time. So it just gives me a lot. I'm about to go grab a Fender Champion 100 um, watt amp right now. Uh, I'm excited. Sweet, that's what's up. Does anyone here have a routine for beginners? So CMC, if you want a routine for beginners, you should definitely be, you're, you're a prime candidate for Carrie's Camp because we have stuff for beginners that help you grow into intermediate. And if you want to grow all the way to advanced, we have stuff for you as well. So you should check out Carrie'sCamp.com, K-E-R-Y-S, K-A-M-P.com. We got stuff from Brazil, people from Brazil in the house. That's what's up. Do you have uh, to get a sub when you're not available? Uh, yeah, I mean, but for the most part, like, I'm available, so you know what I mean? Did you say you changed the pickups in your PRS? Yes, I changed the pickups in this PRS. Um, I took them out. Um, I put in Lambertone Crema pickups in this PRS. This one I was just blazing with, Lambertone Cremas. I could not get that same kind of tonality, warm, crisp, warmness out of my DGT pickups. I've had the DGT for a long time, since what, like 2013, 2014? Um, they're great, but I like a different kind of tonality in my ear, and the Creamers definitely, just, they just do it. Uh, would you check out the Fishbin Triple Play? You would like it. Uh, you know what? Like, if somebody sends it to me, I'll definitely check it out. Uh, hey, Carrie, thanks for the advice. Uh, picked up a Le Les, oh, okay, Les Paul. Sweet, cool, man. That's what's up. Uh, do you have to get a sub when you're away, or do you have to go... For, I mean, for the most part, like, I, I go to whatever the situation is. Now, if it's something that I don't want to do or if I'm double booked, then, yeah, I'll find a sub. But I have to find somebody that's reliable that can definitely do the job. Um, killing, killing, yo, killing. What's my daily routine? So usually I wake up in the morning, um, I will jam out for a little bit, then I may record a few lessons, answer some questions, take care of the fam, come back in, record some more lessons, answer some emails. You know, it, every day is different. Is that distortion or drive? So this is just a Kemper profile. It's called Just Rock the Lead. It's not a pedal. I'm not using any pedal. I'm just going straight cable from guitar to this. That's why I'm saying the camper is just, it's phenomenal for recordings because I don't have to worry about carrying a whole bunch of pedals. I can find whatever amp profile, whatever kind of amp setting that I want, and it just, it blazes. Y'all heard me ripping, you know what I'm saying? Y'all heard me ripping up in there. Sending love from France. Cool. Do you teach deep music theory? Yes. Um, you're a primary candidate for a person to go to Carrie's Camp. You should check out carriescamp.com, K E R Y S. K-A-M-P dot com. Japanese guys are making some beautiful instruments. I have a guitar coming from Japan. 
I'm super excited about showcasing it to you guys. Uh, just looked up the Kemper. <laughs> You're a baller. I'm just work very hard for the stuff that I want. That, that's all it is. You know what I mean? You're my first R&B teacher. I appreciate that. Let's go through and look at some more of these other questions. What kind of amp is Kemper plugged into? The Kemper's not the Kemper's not plugged in anything but my monitors. It's plugged directly into my monitors. These JBLs that I have on this desk is plugged into that. It's not going into anything. It's going plugged into that. Plugged into my interface. That's it. It's, you hear the JBLs rocking like that. Uh, what up, brother? Do you know a good, clean pedal? If you want clean, you don't need a pedal. What kind of guitar? This is a PRS. It's a DGT model, but, you know, I've customized it. That's why I got my name on it, because I, I made it mine. <laughs> yeah. Have you played a Tigma? Yeah, I played when I got a bass from that company. Um, behind on, it says, behind on your practice guitar is in the shop. It says, switching the pickups to Seymour Duncan's p -Rail. That's what's up. Um, can we have a little more of blues and funk in Carrie's Camp? Carrie's Camp is not for blues and funk. That's not really the primary focus. We do touch on it. But that's not the primary focus. What do we talk about if you go to Carrie's camp? It's known for what? R&B, neo-soul, and gospel, okay? I just stumbled on you. Uh, you are about to play, or is this just a question? So I've been playing throughout. So if, you, if you've been watching this, I know you just kind of humped on. Like, I answer questions, but I've played some stuff. I'm just showcasing. I'm just hanging out. That's what we're doing. You know what I'm saying? That's what we're doing. Um, da, 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 da. But like, if you want me to play, I'm about to, I'm showcasing, you know, like, I know some people don't really know about the Kemper. I'm not a Kemper guru, but um, a straight guitar, I'm just plugging in straight, right? I'm plugging it straight to the Kemper. And I'm gonna play with this one track just cause I think it's really cool. But I'm, I'm really about to melt the paint off the walls cause it's just dope. Lambertone pickups, PRS guitar, Kemper. That's, listen, that's enough. That's enough. <laughs> that's enough of that. That's enough of that, yo. That's enough of that. Y'all making me show out today. I ain't really want to do all that today. 
Let's go back. Let's go back. Let's go back. Um, answer some more of these questions. Okay, okay, okay. Hi from the Congo. That's what's up. Play on, play on. <laughs> I play keyboards. That's what's up. That's what's up. I love uh, your advertisement chords, um, like sevens. Uh, then I want to know, it says, how can I use some army passing chords in this song? Blessed assurance. So if you sign up to Carrie's Camp, I show you how you can use passing chords. It doesn't matter the song or whatever. So um, you're a prime candidate for Carrie's Camp. You should definitely check it out. K-E-R-R-Y-S-K-A-M-P.com. Uh, do you teach slide classes? No, I don't teach slide classes. Dope, 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 dope. That PRS is money. That's the name of this guitar. This name of this guitar is called Monet because it's literally made me the most money out of my whole career. Uh, hands down. I'm not even going to lie to you. You better play it. <laughs> that costs a lot. Yeah. Yeah. Been watching you for a while, bruh. Good to catch you live. That's what's up. Just thought um, I just threw my phone across the room. <laughs> <laughs> appreciate it, appreciate it. Uh, what do you think about Gretsch guitars? Gretsch guitars are cool. Like, if that's the vibe that you're on, then that's the vibe you're on. Like, they have some cool stuff, you know what I mean? Carrie, okay, do most of the music stores carry Kempers? Uh, not that I know of. I think it's something that you probably have to purchase online. I don't think it's uh, at a music store. Vise, vise, vise. Cool, cool, cool. What's that song? The name of this song is called Take Me Away featuring Earth Gang. Um, when you do your slides, what is the primary finger you use? Um, do you use leads with your index finger, ring finger? <sighs> Relax and love? Uh, I think I use primarily my index finger and I use my pinky sometimes. That's usually what I use, okay? You know what I mean? Because when I started out playing guitar, I, most times I think you're supposed to use your ring finger, but my hands were so small that I started using my pinky so I could reach and I've just been doing it for so long, it just becomes primary. The thing that I tell people all the time, your fingering does not really matter as long as you're able to play the right notes and do everything you need to do. Do you prefer a Fender Stratocaster over PRS? I don't know, let me ask my, my friends. I've got strats and I've got PRSs. Whatever gets the job done. <laughs> There's no preference, um, whatever can get the job done because Every song has different tones, so sometimes you need more multiple guitars in your arsenal to have to get whatever kind of tones you need. Uh, do what feels comfortable, right? Yeah, exactly. You should definitely do what feels comfortable. Uh, what grade? What gauge of strings do you use? I use tens. Now, if I'm playing um, an acoustic, then I use elevens. Sweetwater carries a Kipper profiling. Exactly, exactly. Uh, do, 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 do. You took us away. <laughs> I did, y'all. I was trying to. I was trying to let y'all know, let the people know. Uh, let the people know. What pickups uh, we're talking about for the Strat? Uh, for, same for the Strat, I use uh, Lambertone as well. All right, so I'm going to switch out guitars, right? So y'all heard, y'all heard the solo capabilities of this guitar, right? <laughs> I'm gonna switch out guitars. Now I'm gonna to go to a Strat that also has Lambert tone pickups in it, all right? So y'all just stay put. I'm gonna be right back. I'm bringing my Strat. Y'all see this, right? This Strat has Lambert tone pickups in it. I'm gonna tune it up and then we're gonna go for broke. You know what I mean? So let's tune it up. All right, here we go. Now this guitar is has Lambert tone pickups in it. it has, these are called the triple shots, the single coil, and this is a Crema, right? The same kind of pickup that I had in the um, PRS. All right, so here we go. <laughs> Thank you. 
Listen, this guitar is fire too. So for people to be asking, like, do you prefer strats or PR? I, I use them all, man. I use them all. But if I had to talk about which kind of strat, then my setup is the HSS. That's me all day. Not that I'm not a fan of the single coil, you know what I'm saying? Just SSS, but for my type of sound, my type of solos, and I'll show you why. So Okay, I'll get another strat that I have that's all single coil, right? And you're gonna hear the difference in the playability, right? Um, just what it sounds like, tonality. So I'm this is this is my kind of setup, right? H S S. Humbucker, single coil, single coil. That's what it means. All right. Now I'm bringing on another strat. This is just your regular everyday, your regular regular strat, okay? I'm plugging straight in. I'm gonna tune up, play the same track, just so y'all could get a vibe and just see what it's like. You know what I mean? So It's just thin to me. was are these the same Lambertone so no these are porters right so before I ever found out about Lambertone pickups um, I was a huge fan of Porter so Porter pickups these are the 1960s uh, are that are in this guitar but every other guitar for the most part that I have I have Lambertones I'm not gonna switch out the ones in this one because I like how it sounds for records especially for songwriting stuff that I need to do this guitar is great you know what I mean so I think I'm done <laughs> playing overdrive so let's go back and find um my good clean tone so it's silver jubilee uh, and then i'm gonna finish answering some of those questions that i saw you guys were submitting so y'all give me a second while i go ahead and find this real quick hope everybody's doing well if you're brand new to this channel please go ahead and subscribe and click the bell like we do this from time to time i'll answer your questions we'll vibe out we'll jam out We'll do various things, you know what I mean? Because that's what it's all about. It's about informing you. And if you guys have like deeper questions and you feel like my YouTube videos don't really showcase that, it's probably on this platform called Carrie's Camp because I do a lot of stuff specifically for um, my students, which are called campers, right? So 
Um, you should check it out, carriescamp.com, K-E-R-R-Y-S-K-A-M-P.com. You should definitely check it out. And also as bonuses, what we do is every Saturday or most Saturdays, I try to do where I have like a guest guitarist that's, that's gonna come in and speak to the students. This week, for all my blues lovers, we have Kingfish. If y'all know about Kingfish, man, you ain't a real blues fan. That's what I'm gonna say. <laughs> but now, nah, if you don't know about Kingfish, you should definitely look him up on YouTube. Super talented guitarist. He's gonna be speaking to the students this Saturday. But you have to be a camper in order to be a part of the community to know what's going on and talk to him, right? So this Saturday, 2 p.m. Eastern, uh, 2 p.m. Eastern Standard Time. So you should definitely check it out. Jump on board because it's going to be so insightful, so helpful. It's going to help everybody that um, wants to grow in their craft. He's going to share information with you guys. So I'm excited about having him on. So let's go answer some of these questions. I know I was jamming out through a lot of this stuff, so I got to go back. Uh, How Nick, you're a prime candidate for Carrie's Camp. So if you want to really just develop your R&B repertoire, you should sign up to Carrie'sCamp.com, K-E-R-R-Y-S-K-A-M-P.com. And I promise you within six months, bro, you, I mean, I don't know how well versed you are already. Like you may, it may take you just a couple of weeks but Carrie's Camp is definitely going to help you really just open that, that avenue up for you. You know what I'm saying? Did you study theory or mostly play by ear or feel? Both, Antonio. Um, I started out playing by ear, then by feel, then I did some studying. You know what I mean? But my, my major is in criminal justice. But I've been playing professionally. I can't even tell you how many years. I've played for the likes of Tori Kelly. i played for Canada Lede. I've done some work with the Black Eyed Peas. i played for Jason Derulo. i played for Sean Kingston. i played for Ty Dolla Sign. 2 Chains. Um, I play for a host, a lot of different people from different genres. So know what I'm talking about. Been doing this for a minute. Uh, nice design. Are you mostly on the bridge or neck pick? Uh, every guitar when I'm soloing is always on the bridge. I never solo from the neck. Neck is always for a warmer tone whenever I'm playing clean R&B sound. But if I'm soloing, it's always from the bridge. Uh, did you order Lambertones um, and have them installed yourself? I ordered them and I had my tech install them. I don't, I can't, I'm not that guy. Like DIY projects, y'all saw like how I distressed this guitar. I love it. But uh, yeah, I don't trust myself to be doing projects. <laughs> uh, I guess a clean pedal for the lo fi sound stuff. Reverb, delay, that's all I could tell you. Maybe some compression. Can't you get the same sound? from the HSS that you use the neck pickup though? No, you can't, it's not the same, it's a lot thinner. Those Lambertone pickups make a big difference. It's, that's what I'm trying to tell y'all, it's a huge difference, huge difference. Makes hella difference. I'm trying to tell you like, I mean, you gotta know, you can listen to tones and it's a difference. And then if a guitar sounds really good, it'll make you want to play it. That's just my honest opinion, you know what I mean? If it looks dope and sounds great, you'll probably never put it down. Uh, do you play in any drop tuning? No, I've only done it a couple times when I was recording a few records, but not normally, you know what I'm saying? I can't really hear the difference. Devonte, you got to spend some time, bro. Like, that's all I can tell you. If you can't hear the difference, I don't know what else to tell you. <laughs> I'm serious, bro, like seriously. Uh, this is what we'll do. If you can't hear the difference, I'll answer these questions and then I'll, I'll tell you. Uh, when on tour, how do you memorize all those songs? You have rehearsal, Eric. You have like 14-hour day rehearsal, sometimes a week, two weeks, depending on how long the tour is. Fish is the truth. Fish is the truth. Can I review the guest guitarist? No, you can't review unless you're a camper. If you're already a camper, then you'll see the list of guitarists, but you can't do that unless you're a camper. Kingfish is probably uh, the next BB King. No cap. Very, very, very true. Very true. I work Saturdays. If you work Saturdays, the lessons, everything, all the interviews are recorded, so you can go back at your leisure and go watch them. You know what I mean? So, does Carrie Camp also teach you a neo soul? Yes, Carrie's Camp teaches you gospel, R and B, and neo soul. We do all three primarily. Do we do talk and touch on other genres? But those are the primary focus. Do you like three thirty fives? I think that they're cool, but you got to find the right one. You know what I'm saying? Yes, Carolina Carrie's Camp teaches neo soul. Listen, the campers are telling y'all. I find single coals noisy, especially in church. Uh, you gotta get the right ones. You probably got, don't have the right ones, but they're not really noisy. Um, getting the Lambertones will stop me from buying guitars. No, 
because I got Lambertones and I still buy guitars. Well, I don't really buy guitars anymore, but I have some guitars. I I, I still get guitars. I'll just say that. <laughs> uh, could you teach me a lesson on, and people says, could you teach, could you please do a lesson on people make the world go round? Uh, not today, but sure. So for those person that said, I think it was Devontae to say he couldn't tell the difference. All right, so I'm gonna play. This is clean, right? So these are with the porta pickup, so. Let's turn this up so you can hear the difference. strat with the Lambert tones. Now this has Porter 1960s in it. I don't know if you heard the difference. Hopefully you will. This is a, uh, it's cool. It's just different tones for like, that's why I mainly use this guitar for like singer songwriter kind of stuff, some pop stuff. It's definitely got that kind of tone in it. The Lambert tones are a lot warmer. They're perfect for R&B. Lambert tones, okay? And while I was playing, I was going through different selector levels, right? So. real quick so you can hear the difference use the same track teacher but you can hear the difference if you're not able to hear the difference that's something that you can work on ear training with because at a certain level in your career or a certain level of you playing you'll start to be able to hear the tonality difference tone makes a huge difference that's why people like certain kind of guitars for certain kind of things that's why producers will be like yo this sounds more like a telly to me it sounds more like a strat it's kind of thicker it's got humbuckers they can hear the different tones so you probably haven't trained your ears well enough to really kind of understand, but that's okay. T it takes time, you know what I mean? So don't feel bad, it's all good. I got the Boss Amy 80, uh, about, it says above all of, it says da da da, sweet, sweet, sweet. It's the camp on YouTube. No, the camp is not on YouTube. The camp is exclusive from YouTube. So if you wanna join the camp, it's K-E-R-R-Y-S-K-A-M-P.com. Uh, if you join the camp, I have tutorials on the Boss Me 80 in there. 
um, and a good song, I don't think uh, the audience will, could, will care. No, the audience will definitely care. You, if you use the wrong guitar in, on a song, first of all, like the MD or the musical director won't even let you play that guitar. So the audience will never get an opportunity to, unless you just say whatever, I'm gonna do whatever I wanna do, and by that time you may not have a job. So yeah, it definitely matters. As a camper, Carrie, um, it would be cool to have Ray Parker Jr. as a guest guitarist. So Big TG, um, email that to support. So I mean, cause I'm gonna lose this after I finish doing this live, I'm, I'm not gonna see your comment, okay? I'm saying I can tell the difference in tone wise, cool. Uh, good morning, Carrie from Chino Hills. That's what's up. Do you ever play with an envelope? Yes, I, I have done it in the past, Michael. I've played with the envelope filter plenty of times. Uh, what pickups would you recommend to get a smooth R&B sound? Lambert tones, Lambert tones, Lambert tones are the best pickups for R&B. Uh, who are your favorite artists, guitarists right now? <laughs> me? Are you kidding me? Like I'm my favorite. Like. Could you please do a lesson? We were already talked about that. Cool, 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 cool. All right, cool. Uh, hi, Carrie. What's your favorite R&B chord progression? Finding my way back, Jaheem. How about that? That's one of my favorite ones. Listen, if you're brand new to this channel, I would love it if you guys have not already subscribed to this channel. Please subscribe to this channel and please click the bell to be notified because... Some of the people that I normally find will tell you that on Saturdays, they know I'm going to do this. But today, I just felt like, yo, let me let me jump in. You know what I'm saying? So that's what happens. Any thoughts on the Gibson SG? I think it's a dope guitar. I don't think that it's necessarily suited unless you change out the pickups for R&B and maybe add a couple other things to it. If I had an SG, that's what I would do. I would add some sort of tremolo bar to it. I would add some Lambert tone just for a warmer tone because SGs are meant for, you know, to kick the kick butt, you know what I'm saying? So, I, but I would definitely like warm it up a little bit to make it fit what I'm trying to do. So remember, just because a guitar looks cool doesn't mean that the playability, and that's one of the things that I focus on now in my career is about playability, you know what I'm saying? Do you have a favorite musical artist? Um, favorite? Nah, I don't have a favorite. I like a lot of different artists, but I wouldn't say a favorite. All right, I'm going to take a few more questions, y'all. I'm going to take a few more questions. I'm, I'm trying to tell y'all, listen, uh, if you want to know about Carrie's Camp, you should definitely check it out. K-E-R-R-Y-S-K-A-M-P.com. Um, if you want to also know about the price, because I have so many people that come here, I don't want to lose sight of who I was talking to, especially Alexander. Email support at carrytoosmooth.com. How many hours a day do you suggest a beginner should practice? Um, honestly, because people's retention level is so crazy, I would say no more than a couple hours a day. But break it up. Break it up into like 20 minute, 30 minute increments so that way you don't feel overwhelmed because you're not going to be able, especially if you're trying to learn how to do a scale at the beginning, you're not going to spend two hours trying to do a scale because you're getting frustrated and your hands are going to hurt. You know what I mean? Uh, what are your thoughts on the hot rails? I'm not a huge fan of anything outside of Lambert's home. Uh, I appreciate you. Uh, you've helped me. Sweet, that's what's up. How much do you play outside of R&B and gospel? I get hired to do everything, so I, I do everything. That's one thing that people will tell you when you hire Kerry. He's a Swiss Army knife. He can do whatever the genre. It doesn't matter if it's rock. I've done some stuff for rock bands. I've played amazing riffs and solos for rock bands. I've done singer-songwriter. I've even done some country records. I've done a whole bunch of stuff. So I, I like to, you know, be a Swiss Army knife when I play. All right, well, I love you guys. You guys take care. I'm, I'm gonna get ready to prepare to do some other stuff. I love you guys. Like I said, if you're brand new to this channel, please, it would be an awesome thing if you guys could subscribe to this channel and click the bell to be notified. If you love this stuff, but you're like, yo, I, I wanna do even more in my career. I wanna learn how to play, blah, 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 blah. You should check out Carrie's Camp. I mean, do it, definitely do it. Check out carriescamp.com. I would love for you to be a part of our community. You know what I'm saying? Carriescamp.com. K-E-R-R-Y-S. K-A-M-P.com. Camp with the K. You know what I'm saying? Because we keeping it that K life over here. I, these are not gang signs. These are K's, just so y'all know. But anyway, I, whatever. I love y'all. I'm doing too much.
I'll talk to y'all later. Have a good one.